NASA spotted galaxies that aren't supposed to exist, and researchers from the whole world fear everything we knew about the Big Bang Theory to be wrong. How is this even possible? What is this phenomenon that promises to radically change our perception of the universe? Watch the full video to understand in detail how the appearance of six monstrous galaxies that should not exist is haunting scientists, in addition to the implications that it brings for space research and what theories we already have on the table. The discovery was made through the magnificent JWST, James Webb Space Telescope, launched into space on December 2021. The telescope was able to recognize the light coming from galaxies due to its high sensitivity to infrared rays. JWST, NASA's latest and most powerful telescope, was able to identify six masses at a distance never seen before. The predecessor telescope was more limited and was in Earth's orbit. With the JWST, it's different. It's been launched to a greater distance, allowing a deeper view of the universe. The downside is that it's too far away for us to send space shuttles to do any repairs. But the positive sides stand out. The telescope project began to be conceived in 1989 and was worth the time dedicated, being the riskiest undertaking ever made by NASA. Hubble, the telescope used since 1990, loses much of its views because it's too close to the Earth, while JWST doesn't have this limitation. In addition, the most recent telescope stands out for its high sensitivity, showing the first positive results just six months after being launched into space, being 100 times more accurate than Hubble, in addition to being fast and delivering excellent quality images. It also has an image capturing mirror 2.5 times larger than the Hubble Space Telescope. Oh, and this design isn't just meant to be pretty. It has practical implications. Each of the 18 mirror segments is 1 meter and 32 centimeters in diameter, forming a hexagon that allows them to be joined together to form an almost circular shape. Its edges fit together seamlessly, allowing light rays to be focused to the maximum and generating much more realistic and reliable images. But for scientists, this could mean quite a complication. That's because with the discovery, many theories already considered right may have to be rewritten. It could mean the reworking of several studies, and even the Big Bang becomes uncertain after that. How can telescope images generate all these conflicts? Let's take a closer look. But first, don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all the latest news about space research. How does the discovery influence other research in the area? Well, it's explained in steps. Basically, the discovery of new stars at the beginning of the creation of the universe was already foreseen. Scientists participating in these SEERS, Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, found small red dots in the photos captured by NIRCAM, which indicated they were very distant and large masses. The great mystery that emerged from the images generated by the telescope has a very specific reason. According to the known laws of physics and the history traced by science since the Big Bang, it would be impossible for there to be mature stars and large galaxies that compares to the Milky Way in size as such an early period in the history of the universe. Got lost? Don't worry, it's really confusing. In summary, the light arriving at the telescope was released many, many years ago. That's why the telescope is said to be looking into the past. The current state of this galaxy will be seen by Earthlings long after we're gone. Check out more videos from our channel to better understand distances versus the speed of light. And this is an essential point that scientists are working on. If we can define how far apart these masses are, we will have a lot of other data that can be used to understand how the universe works and how galaxies are born, developed, stabilized, and how they die. When analyzing the images, researchers realized that the light from the masses was red, indicative of being mature stars and not blue as they imagined. According to the captured images, it is plausible to say that there are 10 times more galaxies than we actually thought, some larger than the Milky Way, that their mass is 50 times greater than any scientist thought possible, and that the mass of their stars is equivalent to 40 billion of our sun. But the influence of the discovery goes even further. The fact that galaxies so far away, and therefore younger, are already so developed leaves everyone with the question, how did these galaxies form? A practically discarded theory returns to the surface. It is the monolithic collapse that considers that a galaxy is formed due to collapse of gases and dust. Until this discovery, the most valued theory 
was that galaxies formed from the merging of groups of smaller stars. The observed masses would have started their formation just one billion years after the Big Bang and ended the creation of new stars 12 and a half billion years ago. With this, we have acquired possible totally new knowledge about the creation, development, and end of galaxies, which can reflect on the research we carry out in the Earth's own history. But where to start? First, it is necessary to analyze which are the studies that may have been directly or indirectly affected by the new information. From then on, the inconsistencies must be listed in order to develop new suitable theories, work that tireless scientists have already begun to carry out. It is also essential that new findings continue to be analyzed and compared to studies in an ongoing and organized manner. And that is why the role of astrophysicists is so demanding and important. They are responsible for understanding the relationship between our planet and the universe, as well as various other materials dispersed in space that may or may not have an effect on Earth. Everything is a theory, and little is known for sure. Facing the unknown, it is essential to train qualified professionals who are motivated to seek the impossible and question the obvious. One approach that could possibly bring results to clarify some of the questions researchers have consists in the study of the interaction between these galaxies and dark matter. Seeking to define whether there is influence between black holes and other materials in the galaxy, and to what degree this influences its size and maturity. Anyway, here lies an even deeper question. Do we really know how the Earth was formed? Okay, but if everything is uncertain, who guarantees that they are galaxies indeed? This is an excellent question. In fact, there is no consensus on a definitive answer, but the subject has been widely discussed since the information reached the scientists. Are there other alternatives? At the moment, three theories lead to speculation about galaxies, although we will only know for sure more clearly when we find out how far they are from Earth through the use of spherical lines, which is the most accurate technique we have so far when it comes to measuring distance in space. These are the three main theories. Black holes. There are researchers who believe that the masses are not galaxies, but giant black holes that influence stars around them. Optical illusion. Certain gases are believed to have characteristics similar to glass, allowing beams of light to spread out in ways that create an optical illusion of much larger objects. And the most disruptive and daring theory of all is that the universe is older than previously thought, or at least that some laws of physics are not so true and decisive. This is the option that stunned scientists the most because upon reaching a previously inaccessible location, they didn't know what to expect. But what they found wasn't even part of their hypothesis. These stars and galaxies seem to have formed within the period known as the Dark Age, which apparently may not have been so dark. The universe is still unexplored, and we do not know where its edges are, if they really exist. So it is natural that we come across completely unexpected situations. We don't even have clear evidence that the Big Bang itself really occurred the way we thought. So, summarizing what we saw in this video, JWST allowed us to discover six new galaxies that are located at an absurd distance. Apparently, they are full of mature stars, but at the same time, it can be a misunderstanding or an illusion. Several other astrophysics concepts must be reassessed to ensure synchronicity with the most recent information we have. More relevant information should be obtained soon, and we should be prepared to analyze other data that should arrive from the telescope. The techniques employed in the equipment developed must, in the same way, evolve according to the need and deeper knowledge of the researchers. The great mysteries of the universe lead us to question, are there other habitable planets similar to Earth? Are there living beings similar to us? What lurks beyond these galaxies? When and where does the universe end? Well, these and many other questions, maybe we'll never find out in life, but we're already one step ahead of yesterday. Comment which of the three theories you believe is correct and if you'd like to know a little more about the mysterious galaxies, like the video, share, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything about the incredible space world.